I'm going to show you how to make a quick and simple sketchbook just to pop in your bag. It's almost like a gift stocking filler. So you just get some papers together. So I've got my lovely cartridge paper because I think it's really important that the paper's good because I like good paper to work on. And I'm just going to mark some holes through and then I'm going to sew it up with linen thread. Let's take it right through. And I'm just going to do a running stitch from one end to the other. With my signatures as you're open, you'll see that my outside signature is just slightly bigger because it just gives it a bit more flexibility when you pop it into the cover. Okay, I'm going to get some linen thread and do a running stitch. So you take enough thread to go backwards and forwards and a bit more for tying it off. Thread your needle. Right, start from the back and just leave a length to tie off with. Do the running stitches across. Make sure that's nice and tight. And just take it back through again. The back of my last paper in the signature is dirty, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be stuck down. Do a right over left and left over right knot, keeping it tight. So your signature's nice and tight, cut off any excess. And now this is where I like to make sure I trim the papers. Once they're together, you sort of never seem to be able to trim them properly until they're together, because then they, it's, they're fixed in, in place. I'm just gonna take off the edge of that. I'm not too bothered with this. Oh, and having a really nice sharp blade to do this because it is possible to get quite a nice finish with that. Okay, and you can trim the ends. I've done that. So I put those together and trim those and left the outside ones slightly larger. I've made myself up a little cardboard cover and that's going to have some of this lovely leather stuff on it. Actually, it's not leather. It's the cardboard that's made to look like leather. So I'll just show you. I need something to glue it up on. I need to decide on what I'm going to cover it with. So here we go with, I've got a couple of pieces and I know that I've not got enough to do the whole booklet because I didn't make big enough pieces in the first place. You know, I made them with A3 pieces when in fact I needed a bigger one. So I'm just going to trim this to size a bit more it doesn't it's not going to be perfect i did i was going to use this piece for something else but look i can take those edges those little cuts i've made off because this is going to be for the inside of a box and then i change my mind so i'm just taking those edges off and you'll see i'll show you what i did with the for this one and what i'm going to do is fold that one over and then make another one out of the bits that i've got here just quickly and i'm going to make it go beyond the bend of the little booklet just because it'll double up and give it strength on the edge. So the first one I'm going to do, get your book binding glue, put it onto the pieces of paper, the back so the paper taking it right to the edge. This is lovely glue this is. I put a link to the suppliers at the bottom. It's very liquid but it um, goes very tacky very quickly. I am very messy as you will all know and this Leather Look card is extremely forgiving. But the more you sort of mess with it, the more it sort of gains character. I'm just, I'm just doing it on a clean area of that paper. So I don't get too much on the back of this on the, or on the front of these pieces. And make sure it is going right up to the edges. Wash my hands. I've got a clean piece of newsprint. The smaller one I put up first. And I'm just going to take it over to round the crease of this. There you go. Press it on. Get your scissors and cut off the corners, leaving about a millimetre. And then fold these over. Oops, that's a bit tight, that one. Hopefully I'll get away with that. And then make sure this is really nice and neat and bring this over. 
And what's so good about this is you can always add a bit of shoe polish after. If there's any bits showing through, you end up with lovely neat little corners. You can use a dampened cloth to get rid of this. Any extra glue, but ever so slightly dampened. Make sure there's no glue on the back. Just make sure that's nice and fixed down. Get the other one. Make sure this goes right up the edge. And what's what you do with this one is you put a little fold at the very end of it. So it's dead neat. Try and keep it straight. Then put that onto your little booklet. Like so smooth it down. Get rid of your little corners. And fold it over. And then just put it to one side to dry because if you start trying to fix in the insides while it's wet like this, the end bit will come unstuck. I'll show you. What you really want is this bit here to have a bit of glue inside it. Make sure there's glue that's going to be on the edge of that. If any comes over onto the card on the front where the leather is, because it's sealed with a polish, it comes off really easily and doesn't damage it. Just don't overdo it. Like, see, it's come through. Just get your cloth and wipe it off. It comes off really easily. And then leave that to dry flat because you want that join there at the end to be as good as possible. Because the idea is that you end up with a cover like this and your booklet inside and then that's like a feature and it also doubles up on the back to make sure that this bit is really nice and strong uh, the bit that takes off it obviously so much of the use and once that's dry your sewn signature will go inside and these bits these outside bits will stick down into your booklet like so and it all nice and neat it's all lovely and neat but i'm not going to start bending it now because i want that to glue i'll finish this off later on so you've got your little cover which is card covered in the card that's been treated to, so that it looks like leather and honestly it feels lovely this was a green color acrylic on top of a blue card and then it was polished in what says a uh, dark tan but it's got a lovely red in it and there's the interior so it's just going to fit in nicely inside there and you just get a piece of paper to protect your booklet on that side your glue get your glue and put it all on the inside of your last sheet of paper on your signatures and there's just one signature in this book. This is a really lovely simple booklet. What, make, what it makes, they make lovely stocking fillers and they just lovely to have as a sort of thing in your handbag constantly. It's so important to have something that you put, you use for ideas all the time. Right, I'm gonna just, so fold that in half and slip that inside so that it's central. I'm just gonna, Place that a bit better with my little hands because it's not sitting so well. That's better. There we go. Okay, so I've just placed it down. And then I do the same on the other side, make sure it's stuck down. Make sure it's going to stick down on the side too. Because sometimes it's very easy to push it too far forward. So then I've done that. I'm just pulling it back a bit so that there's space enough for it to fold inside itself in the middle. Otherwise you tend to it tends to pull on the inside just on the inside so that's about right. There's a bit of wiggle room in this glue. It doesn't go off straight away. Right now let's go for the other side. Another clean piece of paper. Put that in there. Again, you don't really want to stick it in on the inside where the spine of the little pad is. And you also want to make sure your knots are inside because otherwise they show. Right, lovely. Pop it down. 
and I've nipped off any glue. There we go. Make sure it's sat in there nicely. And again, I'd put this in a book press, you know, just put it in between two weights, just so that you get the whole thing sitting down nicely. And then when it's closed, it'll be like that. I mean, it's just lovely, really nice little thing. Lovely little gift for somebody. My kids get all these.